Off the top at 11, a swimmer in distress. Good Samaritan stepping in to save him and both of them needing rescue from the swift current. College students on a boat rushing to pull them from the water. And tonight, one of those rescued is talking to Local 10. Carlos Suarez is live in Miami with our top story. Carlos. Calvin and Lori, that initial rescue played out when this Good Samaritan was walking alongside a bridge that runs alongside the Rickenbacker Causeway. He noticed a man jump off the bridge and he decided to keep a close eye on him. At one point, he noticed that the guy was having trouble swimming. Now what he did next put his own life in danger. Two groups of strangers brought together by an act of bravery. Late Monday afternoon, a group of boaters described to Miami police how they came to the rescue of Redel Pereira. According to Miami Fire Rescue minutes earlier, Redel himself had come to the rescue of a man who was having trouble swimming. <laughs> I jumped into the water and tried to save him, Pereira said. Sky 10 was over the scene at the Rickenbacker Marina as the man pulled out of Biscayne Bay was rushed to the hospital. He was unresponsive, unconscious, and he was transported to Mercy Hospital in extremely critical condition. Pereira said he noticed the man in trouble and grabbed a rubber mattress he found underneath the causeway and jumped into the bay. By the time he made it out to him, the man wasn't breathing. <laughs> I grabbed him and tried to swim with him, but the current was too strong, Pereira said. The commotion caught the eye of a group of friends that were out on the water. They noticed Pereira trying to get their attention and raced over, eventually bringing both men on board their boat. He was able to get him on that pad, but he himself was struggling trying to get back to the shore because of the current. At that time, four college students was leaving the Marine Stadium. They saw what they thought was a bird's wing, and as they got closer, they noticed that it was somebody in the water. Now, Miami Fire Rescue believes that that rubber mattress belonged to a homeless person that lives underneath the causeway at last check. The man that was taken to Mercy Hospital, he remains in critical condition. Police have not released his name. We are live tonight in the city of Miami. I'm Corlo Suarez, Local 10 News. Okay.